हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई एम दीपक कुनियाल इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू डिफाइन अ क्लास एंड हाउ टू मेक ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ क्लास इन दिस वे सो द वे ऑफ मेकिंग ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ क्लास इज क्लास नेम ऑब्जेक्ट नेम सो इन दिस वे यू कैन मेक ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द वे यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द वेरी मेम्बर फंक्शन you will write object name dot method so one thing we have uh, 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 studied in uh, last uh, lecture is all the data members or all the method should be public although it's not necessary you can also make functions private or what i can say there is a concept of least privilege according to which everything should be private and then unless you have a Uh, solid reason of uh, declaring that that thing or uh, making that thing public so that is the principle of least privilege so here we have seen that uh, we are not able to uh, access age variables as, as, as this member is uh, private so what uh, and uh, in which way we can set the value of data member because this is not the right way as we are displaying the information we should not set the value here so i will delete this the whole thing and what we can do c++ provide us a, us a way to set the data members so how i am going to set the value i will declare a function set age the name is easy to remember as we are setting age so and it it is also convenient to uh, ma make the function like this as we have uh, data mem uh, data member age so we are setting age if you want to access the value of this uh, this data member i will write get age but this should should not be white because we are returning some value here and that value is a integer what i'm going to do i will make this return type is integer and if i want to set value i have uh, multiple ways to setting a value so what i can do i can set the value like this age is 20 and then i can display the information let me run this program first and we get a is equal to its garbage value i think i have made some mistake somewhere uh, let me go back and see okay i have not called this uh, set age function so it 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 does doesn't get uh, call automatically we will indent this properly so first after making an object what i will do i will call the set age function which will set the value to 20 and now try to run this and age is 20 right so the, the, there is no problem in setting the age but the thing is if i make another object like this student second and if i do student 2 dot set age and then i display the information for student 1 sorry 2 dot display info one thing you would have noticed that uh, the way we are writing class name or oh, sorry uh, method name that is starting with 
a small letter and this is also convention you should keep in mind and second thing first letter of subsequent words should be cap in caps or in capital so let us try to run this program again and we get age 20 for both the students but in practice what what could happen that both the students have different age so we, we would like to set some age which is passed or which is uh, given by the user so what i can do i can pass the age let us suppose student 2 is 25 years old and student 1 is 20 years old as i am passing the value in this function there should be some parameters that accept this value so it should be let us suppose it is a and i can set it like this int a or a is equal to a in this way the value of this age variable will be set and i can try to run this program and you can see student age is 25 and student age is 20 so we have set the value on our conditions as we are passing the value that value will be set but there is some problem here what we are doing let us suppose i am i am passing minus 1 and let us try to run this thing again now student is age is minus 1 and this is problematic so we, we should provide some checks or balances or we, we should uh, give some uh, constraints here before setting the value so that, that setting a value or setting a, a value before putting a constraint uh, can be uh, problematic. So we have to give some constraints here to set the value. What we can give in this case if a is less than or I can say if less than 0 or if it is equal to 0 or I can give reverse condition if it is greater than 0 then we are going to set the value else I will print a message invalid age let us see how this program runs and it get it gives us invalid age, age. this is uh, setting garbage value as the value is not set there or we can set it after if it's invalid we can always set it to zero or some other value so these things we will be discussing in uh, uh, further lectures but the important thing is functions are uh, uh, functions are very helpful and functions should be used to access any data members or uh, one thing we missed here to understand the get age to get age as we are as you do not want maybe display information uh, can use multiple things like it can display age or number or um, age or name or any other detail of the student but we do not want to do that what we want we want any only students age so in which way i can do that i will use this function specific for the age or student 2 dot get age and it will provide me only age we do not want uh, to get more data from there oh, this is giving me oh okay uh, what i missed here i should print it out So first student's age will be printed here then second student's age will be printed here and as we are uh, setting this minus 1 but it does not set uh, value to the minus 1 and value remains garbage you can see here 
so this uh, provides us a message that invalid the age is invalid then it set the value to garbage and another age is perfect so i think guys it's uh, uh, enough uh, we have discussed uh, how to use functions to set or modify a value if you have any doubt regarding this please uh, you you can uh, put in the com put it in the comments or you can mail me i will sure, uh, try to revert you back thank you so much